What's going on guys? Packed out of here bringing you the next episode in the Ultimate Wheel. We are still in Division 1, still alive. We are at 65, 13, and 4 going into this one, and we have to win three more games to get that division title. We can only suffer one more loss, so this is the episode that we can get into a great position. But before we do that, before we play that game, let's see what the wheel's got for us. Let's go. Here we go with the wheel. There's only a couple episodes hopefully left in this series. If this one and the next one go according to plan, things will be great. And of course we keep getting packs, so that is the best situation possible for us. We love opening packs, love seeing what we can get, love making that coin balance grow pack by pack. So without further ado, let's go over to the market and hit up some of those packs. So the last collectible we have to get is this 258 career points for Stefan Robidas. So we got the three flashback packs, that is all we are going for. If we get this collectible, not only do we get the flashback of his card, we can then trade all the master collectibles in for this master Dan Boyle. 96 overall, he has crazy good synergies. I think it's like three to team wheel, x-ray, and bombers. There's one more, but this is an amazing card. We got three packs to try and find this one little collectibles. Let's go do it. All right, so here's the first one, the first flashback pack. Three chances to get the collectible I need. Let's check these out. Oh, they're taunting me. That's not the one we needed. We got that one last episode too. We got two more chances at a collectible, so let's see, maybe it's still hiding in here. There's one collectible that we're not gonna get back. And there's the other one, so that is just lovely. So we got one of the flashback collectibles, but not the one we needed. No other really good players in here. We got two more packs to go. All right, so it's been a while since we did one of those no-look packs, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, flip through this one. Gonna wait till it explodes. I'm not looking at this one. Super excited to see what is in here. Last time I did this, the last episode, we had a Connor McDavid Team of the Year and a Matt Murray Team of the Year. Okay, I think we're done exploding, so let's check it out. Did we get it? I'm looking for the collectible. You know, there is that Team of the Week out there. Hopefully it can be a good one. That's three gold collectibles. Are you kidding me? That is an unfortunate pack right there, not any players that I could use on the team, so overall a pack that I wish I could re-roll. Alright, last flashback pack. Maybe we'll do a couple re-rolls after this one, because I really just want to get it. Let's see. Okay, I see a collectible right there. Please be the 285-ish. Crap, Scott Gomez. And there's a gold collectible and the second. All right, so we're not gonna get them in these packs, but let's re-roll a couple of those collectibles. All we have to do is waste a gold collectible, but hey, we've gotten, what, like seven of them from all the packs we've opened just in this episode, so that gives us about seven opportunities to go ahead, re-roll some of those collectibles, so let's get to doing that. All right, so we're not fooling around. I had seven extra collectibles, and I had seven gold collectibles, so. Right here, I got five packs in front of me. I kept two of them, so if we do get it in these five packs, then that's great. We're going to go ahead and create it. If we can get them in this one, then I guess we'll try again before the next game with whatever we have. But I have to save some of my jerseys, logos, and coaches to actually craft then the carbon collectible and the five gold collectibles. So we're only going to do five right now. We're not going to do all seven that I have. Got to be careful not to open up these flashback packs versus the collectible pack. So we're gonna open up these five guys right here. Remember, we're looking for, it's like the 286 games played or something. Not Scott Gomez's card. All right, come on, we got four more left to go. Please, give me the card. <laughs> oh, that's not the one we wanted. Are you serious? Just give me the card I wanted. Just put me out of my misery. Just give it, they're not gonna give it to me. I already know, it's not coming. I got two more of these left to go. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Come on, this is the last one. I would have just—I just wasted five gold collectibles on this. Oh my gosh, it's not happening. It's not gonna happen. This. One. You know what? We're gonna do the last two because I have a problem, and I really need to see if we can get it with the existing collectibles that we have. Actually, you know what? No, because that means I have seven more collectibles and only two gold collectibles. So we're gonna go ahead and play this game, and then worry about it on the next spin. So here we are, and I have no clue where these places are. Philadelphia is apparently the city. I need to take a quiz on like what that opening series shows me, what city it is. We're going up against the Bombers. I think that's Finland's jersey, and we're going up against the old Canucks logo. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. 
<laughs> Matt Murray, 5-0, playing absolutely astounding since we picked him up. What a great pack pull. Then we got John Gibson, 17-6. So hopefully we can take this guy out back and improve Matt Murray's record to 6-0. All right, whoa, that pass went way the hell back into his zone. It's gonna, whoa, it's holy, wrap that one around the entire rink pretty much. What is going on in here? Take it down the ice, take it far side, throw it back in, hits the inside of the post, and nets the first one. Thomas Caverly gets that go-ahead goal. That's what I like to see, those flashback cards coming into it. That's, that's why we completed the sets. And I mean, holy crap, that face is haunting. Here's Johnny! That face is absolutely terrifying. Who was put in charge of designing Thomas Caverly's person? I think they threw it on an intern because that thing was downright terrifying. But let's continue on with this game. There we go, Stamkos, get that loose puck. Throw it for that one timer right there. Matthews, you missed the net. You can't do that, man. Come on. Gotta score goals here. Ooh, he's pulling his goalie. He's confident. Six seconds left to go. We're gonna win the face off. Come on, Malkin, take the puck with you, please. Robitaille gets the puck, strip the puck, floating. Wow, that was, that that six seconds was so much more stressful than it needed to be. <laughs> Come on, what are you guys doing out there? That was should have been a flip down the ice, possibly a two nothing heading into the first. But hey, we got the we got the go ahead goal right now. We're one zero. Let's continue on to this second period. Take the puck. Nice check there by Ovechkin. There we go. That's a way to back check. Okay, we got ourselves a two on one. If we play this one smart. Take him around a little bit, take it up to the point. Fanuf throws it on net. The puck is loose right there. Get in the net. There we go. Though I never have success getting the loose pucks, but that one was just fluttering out behind his goalie. Gibson could not cover that puck up. We went in there throwing poke checks. That's what we like to see. And that was a short-handed goal. Phenomenally. All right, McDavid. Here we go. Let's get this one. Wins the face off. There we go. Caverly, take it back. Gets past two guys. Let's go. Whoop. Oh, he gets around him. Come on, finish this aggressive goalie. McDavid comes in and finishes it. Unbelievably. He's paused the game, probably for a timeout. This two shorties. No, we got ourselves another rage quit. Unbelievable. So just like that, we have secured another victory. Two victories away from getting that Division I title. But of course, we got some rage packs to go open. All right, so this is the second episode in a row. Maybe the third. I can't remember when the first was, but this is another rage quit. So, you know, we're going to go ahead. Oh, awesome, man. I, I, I messaged him. I said, that was, that was some tough luck. That was just some... What did I say exactly? Sorry, man. That was some bad luck right there. So GG's to you, man. Flow Show 8988. It was a good game, but just some tough breaks. But because of the tough breaks, we have been awarded some of these expansion pluses. And I checked the prices on some of the commons from the gold packs, and they are still ridiculously high. And I'm not really wheeling and dealing as much as I am on the auction house as on other accounts. So we're going to go ahead and try these gold pluses. Give them a chance once again. So... Let's check it out. We get Patrick Sharp for the first rare in these packs. What if we pulled like a Series 1 Crosby? That would be hilarious. But Gustav Nyquist and Patrick Sharp were the two. Patrick Sharp, you pulled him every single pack last year. It was crazy. But that's the first one. We got two more to go. All right, so we're just throwing up all those uncommons on the auction house. Just seeing what happens. Putting them up for a price of like seven... 700 coins or whatever, which is a lot cheaper than what most people put on comments for on the auction house. Two rares in each of these packs. Don't forget the rules. Marcus Johansson and Seth Jones are the two cards. We got one more pack left to go. Let's see if we can't find anything special in those. Something needs to come from this pack. Let's skip the animation. Why not? We've done it the whole time. If we get a Bruins Arena in the pack, that means we're going to get a David Pasternak. Isn't that right? Come on, give me that Pasternak. It's not going to happen. That Pasternak goes for a crazy amount. We're not going to find him in this pack, though. So let's get on to the next spin of the wheel. So what a beauty of a way to start off the episode. A sick dangle from Thomas Caberly. Almost had a second goal of the night, but it was picked up. The loose puck was picked up by McDavid, and we got some of those rage quit packs. Didn't get anything from them, but fingers crossed we can get some more packs right here. Or maybe a wild card. That would be sick. Any base player, and eh, not so much, and maybe let's get just open 10 packs, that's what we're looking for, here we go, this is the spin, this is the last one of this episode, another win right here, it would make for an epic series finale, but let's go, what is it going to land on, give me 10 packs, keep going, no, oh, it's challenge time, 
So, unfortunately, we're not going to get any packs, but we are going to try and complete that set because we still have some of those collectibles left over. But first off, let's go pick a challenge. So the challenge that we picked up from a comment section a couple videos back was try and get three points with your goalie. If we can do that, we'll get some special packs. Here we go, let's get to this challenge. All right, so we do have the challenge picked out, but I am not breaking my promise. I said we were gonna re-roll some more collectibles, so here we go. I got five more to open. Please, fingers crossed, give me that collectible that I am looking for. That is not it. All right, so we got four more possibilities to find the one collectible. We've now re-rolled six. There it is! That's the one right there. Stefane Robidas, 258 career points. And since that's the one we needed, I don't really need to open these other three. So I guess now if I ever do start getting these collectibles, I, I was about to lose it if that was another one. <laughs> I can just straight up send these to the auction house because I actually don't need them. I don't know how much they're going for. Let's throw it up for 4,000, maybe make somebody's day for these ones because, I mean, we're just trying to increase our coin balance. If you can see, our balance has actually gone up quite a lot because almost all of those cards I put up the non-rares from the gold packs sold for like 700 coins a piece. So that's awesome. So I, don't know, I think these are around like 5,000 or so. So sometimes when I don't really care about what I'm putting on the auction house, I still want to make a little bit of coin off of it. But, you know, I don't really mind that I might be losing $1,000 or so. Or donating like 80,000 coins, apparently. That burns I paid for last episode was severely overpriced. Whatever. Call it a late season donation, but we got what we wanted. We got what we came for. At least I hope. I'm going to be really embarrassed if I'm just sitting here selling all these guys off for the card that we wanted. But let's go check it out. Stefane Robidas' card. So yeah, that's the missing puzzle piece. Now, give me a couple minutes while I go trade in for a whole bunch of carbons and gold collectibles, and we're going to see if we can actually finish the master set item Dan Boyle. Alright, so it turned out I had an obscenely large amount of jerseys, coaches, arenas, all of the sorts. And so I easily made 15 new gold collectibles, including the carbon collectibles, so we get the flashbacks to Fane Robidas. So everybody who wanted me to trade it in for a 90 plus card, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen because now that we have completed all of these cards, let's check out the synergies on it. Decent amount. Level headed leadership is a pretty good synergy. So we'll see if we can't use him on the right D, but we got the final collectible for that Dan Boyle. So we're going to quickly return back to the set and get that master Dan Boyle card. We're going to trade in each of these. And now that we have traded in this final one, the 2004, which is the year that the Lightning won the Stanley Cup, I know that because I was there for that game seven. I have the ticket stub to prove it. I'm sure like thousands of other people say they actually have the ticket stub. They do not. So we're going to go quick. Look at that. Long term goals. The first set I've actually completed, I guess. So the Dan Boyle flashback pack. Let's kick up this guy. Look at that. 96 overall offensive defenseman, a right defense. Three to passing playmakers, one timer, team wheel, and x ray. So no bombers, but it is. Is that one T or tape to tape? I can't really see what that says. All right. So that's three to one T. So that's an amazing card. 95 is like the lowest stat, the lowest overall stat on the card. Everything else is wonderful. So we're definitely going to find a place on the team. So let's go quickly build up our team and then get to this challenge game. All right, so I'm not sure if this is against the rules, but we got to put some of these synergy boosted players in there. So Dan Boyle is going to be taking the place of Chris Letang. And Letang hasn't been much of a force for us. However, PK Subban has, but he just doesn't have the synergies that Stefan Robidas does. So we're going to flip him in there and try this out. If it doesn't work, don't shoot the messenger. All right, but here we go. We are playing it next time. I don't know what place this is. We're going up against the Fear Boners. What is with the lewd and crude names that I've been finding in Division 1? I guess the Division 1 thing. You get to Division 1, you're a sick bastard, and you make goofy names because you're a horny little 12-year-old, I guess. Matt Murray, speaking of 12-year-olds, you got a 6-0 in Division 1. Absolutely insane. Wow. 233 and 89, Patrick Waugh. This is a good guy we're going up against right here, but we got we to gotta, gotta try and stick it out and win this one. And oh, Sidney Crosby, here we go. Let's try and win this face off. Whoops. Here we go, Bobby. Let's go. Take it down the inside. Cut inside. Oh, off the inside of the crossbar. Graves, pick it up. Throw it to Matthews. Fired home. Wow, with another amazing save. 
burning down the outside, get past the butt check, throws it for the one-timer. What? Why is Graves taking that and not Matthews? Matthews just decided to not hit that one tee. What a beautiful pass. Carlson in the corner. Come on, A, I put the pressure on him. He's throwing it over to Lindstrom. Lindstrom finds the corner. Oh, give up the first goal of the game is never a good feeling. And Lindstrom with the absolute snipe from the point. Hey, taste of my own medicine. I know it, but it's early in the game. We still have a lot of time to make this comeback. Nicholas Lindstrom throws that initial dagger. It's a good thing we're throwing just a whole bunch of throwing darts back at him. What? Nice interception, Malkin. Malkin up to Ovechkin. Ovechkin's going to toe drag around him. He gets free. Oh, and he makes a mockery of Patrick Wall. What an amazing goal. And that's number eight with eight seconds left to go, tying the game for goal number 25 of his season here with the ultimate wheel. So an amazing performance by him. Malkin is definitely inspired. Russian on Russian action. We got you coming up on the ultimate wheel. But this game's tied, probably ending out the first period. So that is the final performance of the first period. I almost said final in the game. Eight to four shots in our favor, so things are looking good. I have not won a single face off yet. So if there's one thing I can change, it would be my performance in that area. All right, Kucherov got to block him out. Goss Despair gets the puck. Burns, come on, just stay in between him. He's going to cut inside. Oh my gosh, I overcommitted just a little bit. Goss Despair annihilates that blocker again over Matt Murray's shoulder. That might be his weak point, but let's try and switch up some of these tactics and maybe try and take it back in his favor because now he is at that same goal advantage again, which always sucks to be playing with that because you're always playing on the attack. It's never good. End of the second period here, 15 to nine, still shots in our favor, time on attack, very similar, but hey, check it out. I improved, I won a face off that period. <laughs> so unfortunately though, we're still not playing good enough to actually take the lead, let's get it. There we go, tip it, nice win. Burns, clap it home, oh, misses the net. You can't do that, Burns, you're a leader on this team, take it around. Fake him out, throw it back up to the point. Burns to Alsner, blocked by his own guy. Stamkos around the net, throws it for the one-timer, and Matthew sinks it home. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tied this game up halfway through the game. Stamkos to Austin Matthews. Talk about a dynamic duo, but that's what I like to see. This game's tied up, and we're still back in this one. I win this face off. Oh, come on. Graves, you got to take the puck with you, man. What are you doing? Throws it to Terrace. Graves, that was on you, man. <laughs> He just skated right past the puck. We aggressive face off pushed out of there and Graves just walked right to his assignment on the point without taking the puck, man. Come on. Slow and steady does it. Caverly just block him off. Keep him down there. Walk back through. Oh my gosh. That was kind of a softy, Murray. That might have been a deflection. Maybe that was my bad defending. But come on, Murray. You got this one. Four goals in one game. I don't know if you've ever done that, but we got to go ahead, call a timeout. We, gotta re we just got to re-get in our heads. Seven minutes left to go in the third period. I think we can do it. We have the shots to go. Let's call this timeout here. Let's see if he rejuvenates the team. Uh, McDavid's going to lose the faceoff. Bobby Ryan's coming down on the inside. Takes it back up to the point. Latang Burry. Wow. Oh, that one might be the nail in the coffin. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this one. That is three quick goals on this period. And right after we went ahead and called a timeout, Burry lays the absolute snipe right over Matt Murray's blocker. It's Matt Murray's off game, and I can't really say I blame him for this performance because he's played a hell of a career up to this point. Bring it around up to the point. Fnuff. Oh, he gets blocked. Tarasenko, Boyle, get back there. Come on. Oh, he roasts us. I knew it was coming, but Boyle, man, you are so, I guess, okay. I was about to say you're so slow, and then I looked at this, <laughs> then I looked at the durability of our team, and it just wasn't where it needs to be, so this game is looking pretty bad. So four seconds left to go, Austin Matthews, can you get a shot off, throws it up to Stamkos, clap one right into the chest, like normal, that's kind of what we're expecting, so unfortunately we lost the second game of Division One. so... That is it for the games in this episode, but we have to win two out of the two next games we have to play. We can still make this title, but here we go. We have to win the next two games in this series. Same shots, 19 to 19. One hit to six, a very low hitting game. He has all three stars. He earned that one, so. From the get-go, we learned that we probably weren't gonna get those three points to our goalie. We are just in it for the victory, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any reward points from this game. 
So that's gonna do it for this episode of the Ultimate Wheel. It started out great. We had a nice rage quit, got to open some packs, got some great players, made the team strong, and then we absolutely got laid the hell out. Unfortunate result from that episode. So now we have to go through this final episode of the series. You heard me right, folks. The final episode, absolutely perfect. Have to win two out of two games. That will be out Sunday. So let me get let me show you this guy's team real quick. This is, this is better than my main account's team. Look at the team of the years. Look at the Crosby's. Everybody is absolutely stacked. It was a great team. I don't know how he got this many great players. It must have cost him an ab absolute fortune. But yeah, so you heard me right. So this is going to be the last episode coming up next for the Ultimate Wheel for NHL 17. I realize that if I lose this division, I just don't have enough time to put out a whole nother division and then possibly give away my team. So after this next episode, whether we win it or lose it, I'm going to be start to give away my team. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go into the comment section of the next video and I'm going to say, hey, who wants to play me in shootouts? That's right. It's going to be fun to watch. It's not going to be a grueling, hard game of hot. If you can beat me in a shootout, then you can pick a player on my team. But more details will come of that in the next episode. I just want to let you guys know that this is our final shot at Division 1. Boyle, look at this. Negative 3 on the game. Burns, negative two on the game. Robidas, negative one. What are these guys doing? Caberly's negative one. I mean, come on. These guys need to play better if I'm going to give them a shot on this team. Maybe we just kind of go back to the Series 2 cards that were there originally. But this is going to do it for this episode of The Ultimate Wheel. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe for when NHL 18 hits. It's going to be absolutely on fire. Uh, let me know in the comment section in case we do land on a challenge time for the last episode of The Ultimate Wheel for NHL NHL 17. We are bringing it back. Don't worry. It's coming back less than a month for NHL 18. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.